The single biggest unseen enemy to growth in your business is customer churn. To think about what's going on, let's assume that this bucket is your business. Well, it goes without saying that you want your bucket constantly filled with customers. And in fact, what we're doing is we're building a faucet that's dropping new customers into the bucket. The more customers we put in the bucket, the more filled my bucket is. This is very logical. Unfortunately, what's unseen is the hole at the bottom of the bucket where customers are leaving. In fact, by our data, 70% of customers that are in a restaurant or retailer today will not be back in the next six months. This hole is a big problem. And in fact, it is more effective to plug this hole than to be fighting harder and harder to constantly fill the bucket with, without acknowledging that that hole exists. So what do we do about it? If customer churn is something that every business faces, it's very hard to identify. Step one is to know who the customers are that are at risk of falling out of this hole. And that's an unknown for most businesses. But your loyalty program can provide the first step in battling churn. Let's look at what's actually happening when a customer churns. This is someone spending over time. Think of this as an individual consumer. As they spend, they're consistently spending an amount of money with your business, they are loyal. A churn customer, as time goes on, starts falling off. And if this customer falls off over time, they're no longer spending any money with your business. This customer is no longer in the bucket. There are a couple key elements of successfully winning back a customer that allow you to combat churn. First off, don't focus on the customers that are down here. Lower value customers will inevitably churn and your ability to win them back is going to be very hard. It also is unlikely to be ROI positive. Focus on the customers with high lifetime value. So one, be above the line and focus on the customers that actually matter. Two, every customer is different. The traditional churn management program says if I haven't seen a customer in 30, 60, 90 days, I'm going to send them a promotion. The problem is this encourages bad behavior because many of your customers already only come in every 60 days. And if you're not changing their behavior, then what's the point of the program? But identifying on a per customer basis when they have deviated enough from their normal behavior that something's wrong, that's point number two. Customer specific churn management allows you to be precise and identify the people that actually matter. Number three is once you know they've churned, what do you do to change that? And every customer is different. You want your churn management program to not be painting every customer with one broad brush, but personalizing your message to them. We miss you. We want you to come back. Did you know we opened a new store near, near your favorite location? These types of personalizations drastically increase the likelihood of changing what's happening. And of course, your goal is to get this person, instead of declining, back up, back to their normal behavior. The key here is certainly giving them the right reward or giving them the right incentive. But secondly, how do we measure whether this happened? by actually comparing some people that churned to this customer who we've now won back, we're identifying real dollars. This is number four. Identifying specifically how much money you have recaptured from a churn customer puts this churn management tool at the top of your marketing list. It allows marketers and operators and owners to go to their boss their CEO, their investors, and say, we are driving real money back into the business, and we're doing it by plugging this hole. 